Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your sessions for your PHP projects. Now in this project, I have two main files. The first one is index.php which will allow us to enter our username and password and we have a sign in button that will allow us to go to our main page. Now as you can see, using URL I can just write my second file name and I can just press my enter and it will allow me to see my second page or my main page. Now what does PHP session does is that it doesn't allow us to go to our next page directly. We only can go to our next page by verifying our username and our password. Now to do this the first step would be creating your database. Now inside my local has PHP my admin I have created a database by name of practice and inside practice I have created a table by name of user now inside user I have my user ID column I have my email and I have my password and I also have one record and the username or the email is Jamal and the password is 1 to 5 and the next step would be creating a new file of PHP so you can go to your project directory and you can just create a new file so I'm going to name it as session PHP and now I can just go to my Visual Studio editor and then I can just find my this file so as you can see I have session.php here and now I'm going to, going to create my session code using PHP and now inside your PHP code you can write your session code so here we go I'm going to write session start now this function will help us to start our session in this project and the next thing which we are going to do is that we are going to check either our session has been started or not so to do this we can write a if statement code and then you can write if as not set and then you can write your session and the session which we are going to create as it would be from user ID now user ID is in our database so let me show you what is user ID so you can see in this table we have a column by name of user ID and we're going to set this session using this user ID and now you can write anything inside this and you can check if it's not set what are you going to do and you can also add else otherwise what you're going to do now we're not going to do something very special we're just going to set our PHP sessions so we are done with this and the next thing which we are going to do now is that we are going to create a new folder to this project and we are going to name it as our database and inside this database we have to create a new PHP file by name of database and we are going to establish a connection between our MySQL file and our project so here we go so now inside your Visual Studio now we should have a folder by name of database and inside this we have a database.php file now we are going to write our database codes here so first of all I'm going to write my PHP tags and then I'm just going to create a new variable by name of my SQL username and then I'm going to create another variable by name of my SQL password and then I'm just going to create a new uh, variable by name of my SQL host name and the last one is going to be my DB name or my database name and now I'm just going to write my uh, SQL username is root and I have a password for my this root user so it's something like this and uh, I also have a, my I have my host name which is root and my database name so my database name you can check it from here is practice so you can write practice and the next thing which we are going to do now is that we are going to create a connect variable 
and inside this we are going to write MySQL I connect and uh, this will allow us to connect establish between them now the first parameter is going to be my host name so you can write my uh, SQL host name and the next parameter for this is going to be my username so you can write my SQL username and the next parameter for this is going to be my password so you can write my SQL password and the last parameter is going to be for my DB name or my database name and now you can also concatenate or die which is used if your database is not connected to your uh, project then it will show an error message so you can write please try again so here we go we have to save this as well and the next step which we have to do now is that we have to open our index.php file so here we go I'm just going to find my index.php file and inside this I'm just going to add my PHP tags so here we go PHP and uh, on the top side just you can write include and uh, inside this I'm just going to include my session.php now this code will help me to include uh, this file to my database and the next thing which we are going to include uh, would be my database file so you can also write another include function and inside this we are going to include database and inside this directory I have a file by name of database.php now let's run and let's see if we are connected to our uh, this DBMS successfully so as you can see there's a problem uh, the problem is with my SQL connect no such host as non online 6 okay so let me check once again so you just have to change this one to localhost it's not root and now there is no problem at all so and the and the next step is now we have to go back to our index.php and then we have to make sure that we have a form and here and we also should have a method of post for this form so as you can see we have a form and uh, we have a method of post and our each input have a name so the first one is user and the second one is password so you can go back to your PHP codes and you can write f asset and uh, you can write your post and then you can write your button name which is submit and then you can open your braces like this now let me check if uh, it's working fine you can write echo done now if the button is set then it will show a message by name of done so as you can see we have received this message which means that it's working fine now you can delete this code and instead of this code you can check your inputs so the first one which we are going to check is that if uh, our first input which is about user if our user is empty then we should have a, or a null value and then we can add that flag and then we can call it as false and other case then we can just have our user variable and then we can store our data using post super variables and then we can write our uh, input name which is user now this user will store data inside this user now you can just copy this and you can paste it once again and you just can write the password so this is going to be for my next input great and now I'm just going to echo my user and then I'm just going to echo 
my password so let's see if it's working fine so now I'm just going to write Ahmad and the password is going to be one two three so as you can see Ahmad one two three and four so it means that our code is working so the next step now is that we must check that if we have entered our both username and password so you can write something like this if and then you can write flag now this flag must give us a true result when we are writing something in it so you can write flag true instead of we are having any data and you can also do the same for your password now inside this flag we are going to write our query so here we go we are going to create a query and inside this we are going to write select all from now our table name our table name is user you can write select all from user and you can write where now the first column which we are going to check for is email now select all from user where email is, is equal to then you can write your variable name which is user and then we can also check our password is equal to password so here we go now we have just written our query so we want to select all from users and uh, where the username should be equal to our email and the password should be equal to our password now we are going to have another variable by name of result and we are going to call the mysqli uh, query and uh, the mysql query is going to have two uh, parameters the first one is connect which we have here and uh, the next one is our query itself and the next thing which we are going to do now is that we are going to take the result and we are going to store it to our new variable which is going to be by name of r and then we are going to call our mysqli fetch association and uh, for this we are just going to have our result now we are done with this now the next step which we are going to check is that we are going to check either we have uh, a data in our data table or not so you can write something like this you're going to write if not empty if not empty and uh, now you can write your r which is our this variable and then you can check user id now this user id is our this column now it will check that if we uh, are not empty and we have a data on our table now this should uh, start our session here now this will start our session and uh, the next thing which we are going to do now is that we are going to create another uh, variable of session and inside this we are going to name it as user id and it must take data from the user id of the table and we are going to do the same thing for our email now I'm just going to name it as username and it should take the data from email now the last thing which we are going to do now is that we are going to add a header and uh, inside header we are going to locate our file which is our main.php and if the case if we are not uh, written our username password uh, correctly we can add an echo and we can write a script here so this script is going to be now the javascript codes and you can call the alert function and then you can write something incorrect
username or password so here we go and uh, now we have to uh, go back to our main file so you can just go so I'm just going to make it great and the next step now we are going to find our main.php and inside main.php on the top side you can just write your PHP tag and then you can write your you can include your session dot php and the next thing which we're going to include it would be our database so you can write include and then inside database directory we have database dot php and the next thing which we are going to do now is that inside body or inside body we have to check either our session is set or not if it's set then the user is able to use this page otherwise it should return back to our index.php file so I'm just going to create my PHP tags and then I'm going to write my F statement and inside this I'm going to check that if the session has been set for this page now the session which we're working on is from the user ID and then you can write your else statement in the case of uh, the session is not set then you can write header and then you can write your location and it should look it back to index.php and if we are successfully uh, set the session for this page then you can create a variable by name of user and then you can just store a user id or username and then you can just save it to the user and let's have a look that is it working or not you can go and write practice enter my name so you can write Jamal and then I can write one two three four five or I just write my you password incorrectly so you can see it will give me a warning message and if I just want to go directly to my main.php file from URL it will not allow as you can see I am back to my index.php and it's impossible to go to this file until we write our username and we write our password and this will help me to come to my this page now this is how uh, you can design your projects using your session and PHP projects so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more interesting videos